Hello everyone! Today we would make a script that allows us to override graphics of elements specified by the parameter values. Let's say we want to find all those with 30 minutes fire rating or with a specific type code. We could create filters and apply it for the view, however, we would need to do it for each variant. This script would allow you to select a category of elements like walls, floors or maybe furniture, specify the parameter name, it can be either type or instance, and then specify the value which you are looking for. You would also be able to choose the override colors and reset all overrides after you finish your task. For this script, we would use two extra packages, clockwork and rhythm. Let's get started. Let's start with creating our first group. Search for categories node, you can keep it empty for now. Then search for all elements of category in view and connect categories to category in. Now get document.current and document.activeView nodes. We would need them to be able to specify the view where we want to override graphics. Connect document to document input and view to view input. Create a group and name it one dot get all elements of specified category in current view. Now search for element.getParameterValueByName type or instance node from written package. It allows us to search for both type and instance parameters of elements compared to the standard node. Connect elements to elements input and get a string and connect it to parameter name input. Let's rename this string to write parameter name. Create a group and name it to dot specify parameter name. Now let's compare all element parameter values to the one that we are looking for. Search for double quality sign node, connect value to x input, then get a string and connect it to y input. Rename the string to write parameter value and let's test it. If we write key node in the write parameter name string and press run, we would see all values of this parameter in specified elements. Now, if we type f10 in the right parameter value string, we would have a true and false list. Let's use that list and get only elements that have the required value. Search for list.filter by boomask node, connect bo to mask input and elements from group 1 to list input. Create a group and name it free.specify and filter according to parameter value. Now we need to create color variants for the override settings. Search for color.by ARGB and integer slider nodes. Rename slider to red and change maximum value to 255. Keep the initial value to 0 and connect to red input. Copy the slider, rename it to green and connect to green input. Copy slider again, rename it to blue and connect to blue input. Search for override graphic settings dot by properties node and connect color to cut fill color, projection fill color, cut line color, and projection line colors inputs. Get fill pattern node, select solid fill and connect to cut fill pattern and projection fill pattern inputs. Create a group and name it four dot specify color. Now search for element dot override in view node. Connect overrides to overrides input and connect in output from group 3 to element input. Create a group and name it 5.override elements. Search for view.reset element overrides node from clockwork. Also get helper.toggle node from rhythm package. Connect result to element input and get a boolean. Rename it to reset last elements of category overrides and connect it to toggle input. Connect in output from group 3 to OBG input. We also need to make sure we do not reset before override task. Create a code block and type open square bracket x, comma, wait for, close square brackets, open square bracket, 0 close square bracket. 
That way we would pass an information only after the wait for input finished executing its task. Connect element output from group 5 to wait for input and connect view output from group 1 to x input. Now connect it to view input and create a group. Name it 6. Reset overrides of specified elements. And the final part is to reset overrides of all elements of specified category. Copy view.reset element overrides node, connect code block output from group 6 to view input, search for helper.toggle and connect it to element input. Get a boolean and connect it to toggle input. Rename the boolean to reset all elements of category overrides. Now connect elements output from group 1 to obg input. Create a group and name it 7. Reset overrides of all elements of category. Now the script is done, let's prepare it for Dino player. Right click on categories node and select is input. Do the same for right parameter name node, right parameter value node, red, green, and blue nodes. Reset all elements of category overrides and reset last elements of category overrides boolean nodes. Now save and open it through Dino Player. For this example, I created a few shared parameters for walls and floors categories. First, let's specify the parameter name. In my case, I would use ori underscore element underscore type parameter. Now specify the value which you are looking for. In my case, it's type 2. Final part is to specify the color I want to use and press run. As you can see, all walls that have type 2 parameter value are now highlighted blue. Change value to 1, mix the color and press run again. Now we see all walls that has type 1 value. Let's repeat it and find all walls with type 3 value. Try to reset the last override so you won't see type 3 walls. Change the category to floors now. I would use the same parameter name but with floor value type F1. As you can see, the floor is now highlighted as well. Let's find all floors with type F2 value. And the final part is to reset all overrides. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.